Hello learners you're watching my channel Teacher Sneha In today's video we are going to solve an IGCSE past paper question which was asked in the examinations of Feb March 2021 Extended Mathematics Variant 42 This is question number 9 which is based on the concept of algebraic factorization and it deals with three different questions question 1 2 and 3 which you can see which is based on three different methods of factorization of algebraic expressions so in today's video we are going to deal with all these three methods and we are going to see how do we solve these algebraic expressions and how do we factorize them question number 9 also has two further parts which are 9b and 9c which again talk about an another concept in algebra which we will be dealing in our upcoming video So if you want to know how to solve the further part of this question then you will have to stay tuned on my channel and don't forget to watch this video till the end because at the end of this video I'm going to tell you two important tips to remember and ensure that your algebraic expressions and their factorization is correct Now without a further delay let's start with question number 9a1 which says there are four different algebraic terms 5 am 10 ap negative bm and minus 2 bp so basically if you will see into all four different terms if you will try to find out any common factor there is no common factor which is there common in all four terms so in this case what you have to do is you have to divide your terms into two two groups So here first two terms I'm going to put them into one group okay and then the other two terms I'm going to put them in the other groups this is called as grouping so here I have grouped the terms now you will see I have divided my terms in groups of 2 so here 10 am plus 10 ap is the first group and negative bm and negative 2 bp is the second group Now what we do is we try and find the common factors here in this two terms. In this two terms the constant here is 5 and 10. So 5 and 10 the highest common factor of 5 and 10 is 5. So 5 can be taken common amongst 5 and 10. And then if I will see the algebraic coefficients over here, so a is here and a is also present in the second term. so we can take a also common after taking 5a as the common term what we do is we have to put the bracket after we have put this bracket now look at this term this term is 5am out of that 5a we have already taken common what is left out what is uncommon is m so we put m here in this bracket then plus sign comes as it is and then 10 ap is the term here out of that we have taken 5 as a common factor here already now if with this common factor 5a if i will divide this term 10a it will get completely divided and you will get only obtain 2 because 5 times 2 is 10 and a is already taken common as a common factor and after that what is left out here is p so 2p is left here in this bracket put a bracket complete sign and what you got inside the bracket is m plus 2p now move to the next group next group has negative bm and negative 2bp here i can see only negative b is common in this term so i put negative b common here put a bracket sign if from the term bm if i take out b what is left inside the bracket is m put a plus sign there because negative sign we have already taken here common and if b is removed from the term negative 2 bp what is left here is 2p now if you will closely notice this particular term is m plus 2p this particular term inside the bracket is also m plus 2p now we can take these two terms m plus 2p this entire bracket as a common factor 
and whatever are the left out two terms that we put them in another bracket which is 5a minus b this is how we factorize the given expression by the method of grouping let's move to the next question which is question number 2 in question number 2 the term given over here says 15 bracket k plus g the whole bracket square minus 20 plus k plus g now if you will notice here k plus g and k plus g can be taken as a common factor along with the constant number here 15 and 20 if i will see the highest common factor of 50 and 20 is 5 so again 5 can be taken here as a common factor after i take 5 plus kg as a common factor what is left out over here in this particular equation the first term is 5 times 3 is 15 k plus g square this means k plus g multiplied by k plus g was two times one time we have already taken it common here what is left is k plus g one more time so that when k plus g and k plus g will multiply the whole bracket will multiply with each other it will give k plus g the whole bracket square then put a negative sign as it is and 5 times what is 20 so 5 times 4 is 20 that's why 4 comes inside the bracket and here we obtain our entire solution for factorization of this term so this is how we simply factorize this in one go this was a very easy question 4x square minus y to the power of 4 firstly if you will notice here all the terms that we have are perfect square numbers so 4 is a perfect square x square is a perfect square and y to the power of 4 is also a perfect square of a term y to the power of 2 so this we will simplify and we will write it as 4x square as it is minus y to the power of 2 and this whole thing to the power of 2 because 2 times 2 will multiply and give you 4 which is y to the power of 4 applying the rule of indices now in algebra there is a binomial factorization rule which says if any term is a square minus b square its factors are a plus b and a minus b so this is what the rule is which we have to implement for solving this particular equation which is given to us now to solve this with apl application of this rule if you will notice all the terms which we have obtained over here are perfect square number in the form of a square minus b square so over here 2x square is a square term of 2x the entire bracket square minus y square to the power of 2 now this is considered as my a square this will be considered as my b square putting them in the format a plus b a minus b what will i obtain at the end of this equation is 2x plus y square in one bracket and 2x minus y square in the another bracket and this is what my final solution is because 2x over here represents a and y square over here represents b so when they are in the format format a square minus b square we just put them together one time with a plus sign and one time with a negative sign this is how i will be obtaining the solution for the given expressions which are in the form of a square minus b square now remember i had talked about the two now remember i had talked about two different tips that i will be giving at the end of this video for making your factorization a correct factorization so the two exam tips are whenever you take out any negative factor common okay when and you put a bracket after that you make sure that the sign which you give between the two terms follows the rules of integers whenever you take out any negative term as a common term out okay whenever the factor is negative 
make sure that the corresponding factor which is there in the bracket follows the rules of integers here the final resultant term had a negative sign i have already taken out the negative sign common so negative multiplies with what will give me a resultant answer so negative multiplied with positive gives me a negative answer and that is why in between these two terms i gave a positive sign so whenever you take out any negative term common make sure that your final factorization follows the rules of integers and now this one is a very tricky tricky trick and think to the second tip that i had talked about second tip is not actually mathematical but it will just help you to score better marks in exam so that particular thing is supposingly if your first term look at the first bracket whatever the common factors which you have obtained over here make sure that you get the exactly same one over here in the second bracket also because it's factorization by grouping somehow your these two brackets have to be same so that you go to the next step if this is not coming same by your any which any which method that means you have gone somewhere wrong and this is actually the hint to look out for the mistake that you have done maybe the sign was different or maybe you have not factorized it completely or maybe you have not taken the correct gcd so these two terms if they are not identical which will actually give you the hint that your sum is going somewhere wrong okay so it's not actually mathematical but it is something that is common sense or logical tip that i would tell you that will help you to save your time in the exam and it will also help you to understand your errors in the exam and of course if you eliminate the errors your marks are going to improve only and one more additional extra tip extra tip is that always whenever you factorize between the terms make sure that you are using the brackets to separate the terms because if you don't use the appropriate brackets in the appropriate places then your factorization answers would stand incorrect so ensure you are using correct brackets in correct places so if you take care of all these three tips i'm sure your factorization sums are never going to go wrong and you're going to score full marks in such questions okay these type of questions are very simple in algebra and very scoring so just ensure that your signs are correct your factors are correct and your brackets are correct thank you so much for watching stay tuned on my channel for more such concept videos till then have a good day bye bye